Welcome everyone to Simply Becky DIY. I'm Becky, of course, and on my channel, you will find Dollar Tree DIYs, trash to treasures, thrift flips, and occasional shopping hauls. If that is something that interests you, I ask that you stick around. Well, with that being said, we're gonna roll right on into the first DIY. DIY number one, I'll be using another one of these little wagon wheels that I took off of a little wagon that was broken that I had sitting outside. On this little wagon wheel, I'm gonna be going in with some lilies that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. I had them in my stash from last year and I wanted to use them up and I love this color. And I'm just gonna be going in and adding them down the left side of this wagon wheel. And this collaboration, it's about flowers. And so if you wouldn't mind in the comments below, just leave a comment, let me know what your favorite flower is. It doesn't have to be a spring flower. It can be a fall or, or any time of the year. I just like, you know, to read the comments and see what everyone else likes. And then I'm gonna be going in with these yellow flowers from the Dollar Tree. Now, I'm not sure if, if these are fall flowers. They were I, I had taken off the little label, so I don't even know what kind of flower that it is. But if it is a fall flower, it looks really good with these other flowers. So, you know, I needed to, to find me some yellow flowers. And they were in there, and I thought, okay, I'm going to use them. So... My next step here is I'm going to be going in. Here I am. I'm just pointing at them because I was debating whether to add more flowers. Now I'm going to be going in with this. It's a larger size butterfly that I purchased from the Hobby Lobby for 40% off. I love the colors of it. I thought it was just absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just going to add a small amount of hot glue. And I'm just going to glue this down to the middle of the wagon wheel. I was also debating whether or not to add a bow. And I decided to not do that on this project. And I hope that you all enjoy it. Like I said, just leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. It took it just a few seconds, you know, to get the glue to hold on to it. And we'll be, I'll be showing the final reveal. Here's the final reveal, guys. Today I'm super excited to be participating, well actually I'm hosting the April Showers Brings May Flowers. I'm hosting along with my friend Leah from Junkernecker DIY. I've left Leah's channel link in the description box below as well as the playlist link. So I ask after you're finished with my video, Leah's video, that you go down and check the others in the playlist. You will not be disappointed. Okay, on the next DIY, well, this is actually a thrift flip. I picked up this little washboard at the thrift store here, local thrift store, for $3. And I'm going in with some scrap buffalo check, scrapbook paper, purchased from the Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to be placing it down in the top. It took me a little while to get it down into the corners and I had to you know, actually go in and add glue a second time because one of the corners just did not want to stick. And as you can see there is rust 
it's been used a little bit and I I wanted to leave it that way you know I wanted to, to leave some of its natural features on there so that's what I did however I do go in and I do a dry brush with white chalk paint by Waverly and I'm just going in and lightly dry brushing all over the exposed wooden pieces I thought that wasn't taken too too much away from its you know original form here but it needed something so that's what I chose to do And my next step here, my friend Leah printed some words for me on her Cricut and she sent this to me and I just put it on some canvas. It says bloom where you are planted. Now I'm going in with a chalk paint marker and just going around and just making some faux stitches all the way around it just to give it a little interest. And now I'm going to add a generous amount of hot glue to the back. And I'm going to be placing it down in the bottom portion of this washboard. And what's good about this, if you all can find these washboards, you know, you can do just anything with them. You can put anything on there, you know, just make them your own. Now I'm going to go in with some of these Dollar Tree florals. And... I speak very highly of these. These are the ones that they came out with this year. And I absolutely love these. I use these quite often. They come with yellow, little yellow buds, little green buds, and then some greenery. But they kind of almost look like they're frosted a little bit. But they're just gorgeous. And I'll be going in here and adding one piece of greenery to in behind each of the flowers and then I off camera I made a little bow out of buffalo check ribbon that I purchased from Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to be going in here and just using some hot glue and gluing it in between the flowers I have to push the little bow parts back and so I can put the flowers in the front, which that was no big problem. And I think this is a cute and simple little thrift flip here. And here's the final result here. Sorry, it didn't last that long. I lost a little bit of footage. Okay, this here is also a thrift flip. I picked up this little boot for $2 at the same thrift shop. And what I was going to do, I was, this is the color agave. You know, I wasn't filling the pink with a burgundy color. I just didn't really care for that. So I'm gonna, I was going to go in and paint it in portions, you know, some, some of this agave and then some white and maybe, you know, like a silver, but it was too detailed and and I have very shaky hands and I was not able to do that. So you'll see here in just a second, I go in and I decide just to cover the whole boot. And then I went back with my chalk paint marker and I painted, you know, the little buttons. And you'll see here in a second, I'll just take off just painting all of it. And here we go. <laughs> and I'd also like to you know, take this time and say, you know, if you're not yet a member of my YouTube family, if you would consider subscribing, I would love to have you. And also give me a thumbs up if you like my content. It helps my channel to grow, helps YouTube to notice me just that much more. And also, if you hit the post notification bell in the drop down menu, if you hit all, 
you will be informed of any and all of my future uploads. Uh, you know, I thank you all for stopping in and watching. And what I'm doing right here is just using the chalk paint marker to paint the heel. I wanted to make sure, you know, it, it, well, if I would have used the brush, there would have been that slight chance that I would have got some of the white paint on the blue. So this was much easier. Now I'm just going in and I'm going to be painting on, painting over where the little buttons are at. This is actually the first time that I had ever seen one of these little planters. And I could tell that that's what it was used for previously because when I went to clean it up and clean the inside, there was a little bit of, uh, of glitter and some, you know, like remnants of pine cones. So I know that they had used it around Christmas time. But I wanted to make it into a spring decor piece. So now I'm just going to be going in and adding some florals. And you can see the first piece I put in there, it just kind of falls all the way to the bottom. I don't know what I was thinking. And then I decided then if I, you know, decided I would put them all in at one time, it kept them from falling down. And I, this is just some lavender that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. And then some simple baby's breath. Just to add a little pop of color here. And then I think I will put in four pieces of the baby's breath. Like I said, I really do appreciate you watching, taking the time to watch my video. And again, I ask you to visit the playlist, you know, and show everyone some love. There's some talented creators in there. And I just hope that you all have a blessed and a wonderful day. I hope that you have a blessed and wonderful Easter. And again, thanks for stopping by. Oh, and yeah, the final reveal of this one's coming up too. <laughs>